Hey everyone, uh, on you on the internet, you know, uh, I was watching this video by this guy named CP Black Angel eighty eight. He is about my age, and it was a response to the amazing clueless, the amazing atheist, and the amazing atheist. I said, I say, made a very good video against him. He probably like he probably like destroyed him on all his claims and everything else like that. Now, but there's a couple things I like to go over on his video that he did. Well, for the first, just the just one thing, just one thing. And that was, he went like, you know, the problem with the American healthcare system is that we have a lot of obese people. And, you know, like, he, he said the amazing atheists and people like Michael Moore are examples today. You know, I love that he point out, pointed out Michael Moore, because that just shows you how much more of a conservative Republican that he is. And, you know, I have something to say about that, about the whole, you know, oh, well, Michael Moore is fat, and that's why the American healthcare system is so bad, because of fat people. Well, you know... Saying just because just using fat people, all is that all that you're doing there is making excuses. You're making an excuse that the American healthcare system can't work because of some fat people. No, the American healthcare the American healthcare system is supposed to work for everyone. It's supposed to no matter how big you are, no matter what you are, no matter how old you are, color, race, nothing, anything like that, and how big you are, how skinny you are, the American healthcare system is supposed to work for you. So saying it's because of fat people is an excuse and a very bad one to boot. And I mean, can I just if I could just say this, the difference at least the difference between Michael Moore fat and him being fat and the CEO of some healthcare company and him being fat is well at least Michael Moore is actually trying to do something about the healthcare system that's that's so he thinks it's right. What he sees is wrong is out with our American healthcare system and he wants to make it better. He is trying to do this. He's done it before in the documentary Sicko. He's used other documentaries. Now, getting away from that, there is something I would like to talk about with that, and that is he also claimed he's like saying, "Well, how great Cuban the Cuban health care system is because it's universal," and he going he he stated on quote saying he stated on quote saying you know if he likes Cuba so much. Why does he just move there? You know what that reminds me of, dude? CP Black Angel 88. You know what that reminds me of? You remind me of some Vietnam, pro Vietnam War guy going, yeah, you know, we support America. We support the government and whatever they want to do. And yeah, all that stuff. And, you know, if you don't like, if you don't like America, which, which they don't realize, but, you know, if you don't like America, then you can get out of here. You can go to Canada or something like that. Well, they don't. It's not that they didn't like America, the Vietnam War protesters. It's not that they didn't like America. Obviously, they loved America. They didn't like the government. They didn't like what the government was doing, drafting people. You know, they weren't in favor of that. They saw through the mess it was that the Vietnam War was nothing but more than a mess, and that we probably should never got involved in it in the first place. And also, the Vietnam War really didn't do anything. It just made another communist country, and it really didn't actually progress communism in any way. In fact, communism probably went on decline from that point on in history. But I mean, you know, just the whole, just that argument. You know, I like to say something about that argument. To me, that is the last desperate attempt to try to insult someone because they know they have nothing else to say. So instead of trying to say, you know, okay, maybe you have some good points, which he admitted, but you know, instead of actually going like, you know. Whatever, whatever. You know, he tries to just get that one last little thing in it. And, if, and, and if any person like that will go like, well, you know what? You're saying all this bad stuff. Well, if you don't like America so much, then why don't you just leave? And you know what the problem with that is? The problem with that is if the people who see something wrong with our government or our system, when they see something wrong with it and they leave the country, guess what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. They'll just remain the same way. You know, maybe the people who are actually voicing their opinions are actually love America. Did you ever think of that? You know, to anyone who's ever said that, you know, why don't you just leave America? Well, maybe they actually love America so much that they actually want to try, try to have an effort to try and make it better. You know, our healthcare system is not the greatest in the world. We're being beaten by countries like Britain. We're being beaten by countries like France and Germany. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's what it, the, 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 the statistics say. But, I mean, you know, maybe instead of just saying, you know, 
once you just leave America, you know, maybe they're just trying to make America better. You know, you know, they want to see something as bad. And so they love America so much that they're willing to take their time and their effort to try to make it better. Did you ever think of that? Anyway, tell me what you think of the healthcare systems around the world, wherever you're from. Just say, you know, I'm from this country, I'm from that country. I like to get people's opinions because I talked to a guy from Holland. He said he has universal health care in Holland. They say it's a great system. I talked to from a guy from Russia. They don't really have universal health care over there. They kind of do, but it's more like it's the doctor checkups are free and stuff like that, and the dentist stuff is free. But, like, as far as, like, surgery goes and stuff like that, no, it's not free. You have to pay for that. Um, Britain, universal health care. Canada, universal health care. Uh... United States, mostly American healthcare companies like Humana, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, and I know some people are going to comment, they're going to be like, you know, kid, you know, you're only like this old and, you know, you don't know that much stuff. Well, you know, you're right. I really don't. This isn't really one of my strong points. I'm just trying to, I'm just telling you what I know based on experiences and prior knowledge and stuff like that. And... That's why I'm trying to do this in ways too, so I can get different people's opinions, you know, trying to like see, you know, you know, what someone else might think, you know, I mean, sure, get an American opinion, but also get someone's opinion from France, you know, where they have universal health care and say, you know, what's the healthcare system like in France? How is it going? You know, is it working out well for you? So if you can do that, that would be great. Um, that's all I have to say about that. And peace.